Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, how to improve uh, a price target uh, uh, trading using Fibonacci, Fibonacci extension. All right, so we have here a triangle, all right, so there it is, there is a triangle. So the price went up first and then uh, was consolidated in a triangle. So we can use the height of the triangle and project it at a breakout point. Well, that's how we set a target for the a triangle and that will allow us to set the first target right there okay well, so when you set a target like this we can see here the price gap up above that right so we have uh, two target okay the first target is what we call the midpoint target so when you set the all this is what we call the ultimate target so the try the height of the triangle Okay, is allowing us to set the ultimate target, all right? Like this, that's the ultimate target. So we divide our measure stick into two, and we have here a midpoint target. You can see that when it start going up here, it stopped there a bit at the midpoint target. You can see also this tendency bar here near the midpoint target. And that tendency bar with a small tail, it's a small pullback to retain that midpoint target before it went up. So when you set a target like this, some traders say, okay, so what should I do next? So you can project the target multiple times, okay? So if it goes above, you go like this, okay? And again, you set a midpoint target again, and an ultimate target right there. And then if it goes above again, you carry on doing that, another midpoint target here, another ultimate target right there. But there is something I want to show you, all right? Maybe I mentioned it once. I don't know whether I already talked about it before. And let me know in the comment section. So when you set it like this, right, and the price goes, sometimes the price will rush through it. You see here, it's going above that target here, okay? So there is one Fibonacci key level that you must use. Which one? Fibonacci extension, 138.2%. Fibonacci extension apply to the, to the, to the range of the price target. So you see here, so if you were here, you set this target like this, okay? So you set the target, all right? Now it goes above here, all right? So you will apply Fibonacci extension to the price target, to the range of this price, from the low of the measure stick to the top of the measure stick, and you want to watch out for a resistance, a critical resistance at 138.2%. Fibonacci, can you see that? 138.2%. I'm using 138.0, that's why I use all the time. I don't use 138.2, I use 138.0, and that's a critical resistance. You see here, this candlestick bar came near that level. So you can apply the Fibonacci extension to the measure stick if the price goes above it, apart from the midpoint target and the next ultimate target. You can do the same thing again here, you see here. So it goes above it, so we set again ultimate target, midpoint target somewhere in the middle. You apply again Fibonacci extension to the range of that measuring stick, and you'll be watching again which level, the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level of okay, that measuring stick. You see here, this one here, this is good for day traders and also for a quick and fast profit here, you see here, you turn around here again, you see here, same thing it did here, you see here, same thing did here, see again, 138.2% level. So now, you are where are we now? See, a lot of traders don't know that, or I'm telling you that it's a secret, but now it's a public secret. So be carefully careful. Why have I done it? Have I changed it? You are, again, now one more time, all right? We, 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 we apply again, we set our ultimate target, the midpoint target somewhere in the middle here, but we apply again Fibonacci extension to the range of our measure stick, and again, there is 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. We can't see it on my chart, but it's somewhere up there, all right? It's somewhere up there. If the price continues to go up more, you'll see it soon. So you see here how we break it, but some people will say, what should I do? Okay, the natural behavior will be to project this one again one more time up to the uncharted territory and leave it there. And if the price is going up, you hide at the midpoint target and the next ultimate target. But apart from those targets, you can apply Fibonacci extension as I did here. And now the next critical resistance that we must watch is what? The 138.2% Fibonacci extension of this measure stick in this session here. 
So this is about, uh, okay, uh, how to improve a price target training using Fibonacci extension, 138.2%, Fibonacci extension. So sometimes I may say, maybe wonder, you say, George, how do you know about all this? All right, that's a very good question. If you want to know, uh, it's just because I keep my eye wide open like a negro. All right, so I consider myself as a negro trader. So another reason is because uh, anytime I have a losing trade or a winning trade, I try to find out why this one did work. And then when I have a losing trade, I spend even hours, even sometimes days, going back to my losing trade and my winning trade, try to discover why this time this way. This is how I find out about many trading strategy that I share on YouTube for free. And uh, I'll be talking about the stochastic pattern overbought, overshot, all these things. How do I know, how do I master the overbought and overshot? It's because I was trading them, I said, well, this is a trading tool, and I must know how to trade it, all right? I must know how to trade it. And that's how I find out about many things that were going on in the market, the market principle, okay? Uh, that are different from the Indian way principle, and uh, that's how I improve it. That's how I discover also a lot of high probability trading setup that I trade all the time. All right, that's how I discover also about the market pattern. So if one is trading and one is violating the market pattern, rising channel, declining channel, horizontal channel, and the triangle, one is just going to go round, 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 round. You see here, so that triangle has allow us, okay, to set a price target, all right, multiple price target, projecting it, projecting it, projecting it, all right, but we can improve our price target training using the 138.2 percent, if you want, is it happening here at the 138.2 percent, it happened again here, is it going to happen again here? It may not, it doesn't mean that if it's going to happen, it doesn't mean that if the price reaches that level, just sell, no, 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 no. You are looking for a trading setup. You are looking for a good reason trading setup that will generate a trading signal, and then you enter the trade. That's what we call a different time frame trading method, or a top down trading method, all right, and so on and so on, or multiple time frame trading method. If this video has been useful to you, I say, George, it has opened my eyes, and I start seeing through things through the walls. All right, so give us the thumbs up, please. However, if you say, George, well, it's the same thing, repackaging the same thing, speaking that funny accent, I'm fed up with you, mark it down. Just mark it down, it will make you feel good, okay? Now, if you think that, George, well, uh, for the first time you have managed to convince me, all right, feel free to share with your friend on the social media, all right? Subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Pro Traders, The Pro Traders YouTube channel. Uh, check our website, theprotraders.com also, so you may learn more. And subscribe, please, okay, and be sure to click on the notification bell so anytime we record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. So this will conclude our discussion today about how to improve price target trading using Fibonacci. I'm not going to say Fibonacci extension, using Fibonacci. That's enough, okay? Thank you for watching, and I will speak to you soon. Now, the financial instrument that we are analyzing today is... Uh, Lulu Lemon. This is true. That's the name, though. Lulu Lemon. Lulu Lemon. Atletica Incorporated. So, the epic is L U L U. Lima Uniform. Lima Uniform. Listed on the Nasdaq Hundred. Thank you for watching. Happy trading to you.